Welcome to America Reads Fun Learning Activities. We are college students who are creating learning activities for kids. Our fun activities are focused on reading, writing, and math. Thank you all for joining me here today. My name is Shravya. In today's video, we'll be going over how to compare and contrast two different texts on the same topic. Before we get started, let's go ahead and review how we can compare and contrast two different texts on the same topic. Here are a few tips to help us compare and contrast two different articles. Number one, highlight and underline main points in the text, so anything that might stand out to you. Number two, Read the second text and do the same. So just making sure that you're highlighting the main points in both of the articles, not just one. And the last tip is to reread both of the texts, but highlight similar and different points with two colors. For example, the similar points might be highlighted with the color green, while different points might be highlighted with the color purple. Great. Now that we reviewed a few different tips on how to compare and contrast two different articles, let's go ahead and get our craft started. For today's activity, you'll need two pieces of blue paper, two pieces of blank paper, a black marker, tape or glue, and some scissors. Now that we know what we'll need for our craft today, let's go ahead and get our activity started. Today's topic will be on beluga whales. How exciting! So, to start off, I have an article from National Geographic. Beluga whale. The beluga, or white whale, is one of the smallest species of whale. Their distinctive color and prominent foreheads make them easily identifiable. Unlike most other whales, the beluga has a very flexible neck that enables it to nod and turn its head in all directions. Belugas generally live together in small groups known as pods. They are social animals and vocal communicators using a diversified language of clicks, whistles, and clangs. Belugas can also copy a variety of other sounds. These whales are common in the Arctic Ocean's coastal waters, though they are found in subarctic waters as well. Arctic belugas migrate southward in large herds when the sea freezes over. Belugas feed on fish, crustaceans, and worms. The whale is related to the tusked unicorn whale known as the narwhal. The beluga is not related to the sturgeon of the same name which has been heavily fished for its famous caviar. Awesome job reading along the first article. Now let's go ahead and read the second. What is a beluga whale? Beluga whales are also known as white whales. Their unusual color and prominent forehead make them one of the most recognizable species of whale. They are also one of the smallest, ranging from 13 to 20 feet in length. Unlike most whales, the beluga has a very flexible neck that enables it to nod and turn its head in all directions. Where do beluga whales live? The beluga whale habitat spans from the Arctic Ocean to its nearby seas in the Northern Hemisphere. Belugas are common to many regions of Alaska, Russia, Canada, and Greenland. Beluga whales can be found in shallow coastal waters in warmer seasons, so shallow that it barely covers their bodies. However, in other seasons, they will go into deeper water, swimming along ice flows and subarctic waters as cold as zero degrees. They also seasonally inhabit estuaries and river deltas, making them well adapted to both colder and warmer habitats. Unfortunately, the beluga whale's habitat is at risk of being destroyed. This can be due to some physical barriers that limit their access to migration, feeding, or calving areas, but human causes such as oil or gas spillages can also harm the beluga whale's habitat. Great job reading along! 
Now, recalling the tips that we went over at the beginning of the video, let's go ahead and write down some of the main points in the articles that we just read. I'm going to be using green for points that are similar and blue for points that are different. And I'm going to write a small little note so that we know what colors represent what. So I can notice that there are around two similar points from each of the texts. One is that Beluga whales live together, and text 2 also mentions this as they live together in groups. The second point is that in text 1, it mentions that beluga whales live in the Arctic Ocean. And text 2 also has a similar line where it says that beluga whales live in shallow coastal waters. The other points that are remaining seem to be different from one another. For example, the flexible neck of the beluga whale, how they communicate with each other, and what their diet is. In text 2, we see that it says that the color and the forehead of the beluga whale makes it stand out, and that it's one of the smaller whale species as long as the fact that its habitat is in risk. Now that we know the different and similar points of each of the articles, we can go ahead and get our craft started. Using one of your pieces of blue paper, we're going to be cutting out one circle, a tail, and two fins as our craft will look like a whale. So let's go ahead and trace this out. Alright, so I've traced out the outline shapes. So here I have a semicircle that I will cut out from both sides of the paper so that when I open it up, it'll be a full circle. And then here I have two fin shapes, which are triangles. And then here I have the tail shape of the whale. And now we're going to go ahead and cut this all out. All right, here are my cut out shapes, the circle, the tail, and the two fins. Now, using one of the blank papers, cut a circle that is the same size as this blue circle. So all we're going to do is just gonna take our blank paper, put it over this, and then cut around the edges of this blue circle, like so. Here I've cut out the blank piece of paper into a circle that's the same exact size as the blue circle. So now what we're going to do is fold this paper in half. And on this half, we're going to write all the main points from the first article. And on the second half of the circle, right here, we're going to write all of the main points from the second text. And using a different color, we're going to do the same thing and highlight the similarities and the differences between the two texts. So we're going to go ahead and just copy over what we wrote down beforehand. Now that we've written down all the information, we're going to write the tips to compare and contrast on the wheels back. So let's go ahead and glue this into the inside of this circle. All right, so I've glued the piece of paper inside of the blue piece of paper. Now we're going to take the other piece of blue paper, which is right here, and we're going to fold it in half And we're going to put this on top of the blue paper. 
and I'm going to use my black marker to outline the edges of the blue semicircle. Now that I've traced the outline, I'm going to go ahead and cut this out so that when I unfold it, it should become a full circle. All right, I have my circle and here's the other blue semicircle and I'm going to go ahead and just take this on and glue this on to the bigger blue circle. And now I'm going to go ahead and on the back of the whale right here, I'm going to write the tips that we talked about earlier in the video. And there we have it. We have the tips to know how to compare and contrast as well as the examples from our whale readings. Now all that's left is to glue on the tails and fin and if you would like you can add a little bit of color with spots or any other thing that you would like to decorate your whale with. Awesome job everyone! Here is my finished whale. And again, we have our compare and contrast tips as well as the examples. I hope this will help you when you're comparing and contrasting texts in the future. Enjoy reading about your whale facts. Thank you for learning with us today. We hope you come back and learn some more. Please like and subscribe to our channel and we'll be back with more videos shortly.